My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. We break down full fight cards every single week. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And this is brought to you by Earn You. Earn You is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk free. Check it out now at earnyou.com. And Odds Jam. Odds Jam has the fastest real time data integrations to spot discrepancies between different sports books and helping users place risk free bets. Check them out at oddsjam.com. Next up at UFC Vegas 51, we have the main event of the evening we have Vicente Luque taking on Bilal Muhammad and this is a rematch and I would bet my life that 90% of you did not know that this was a rematch until you started watching all these breakdown videos but it is a rematch Vicente Luque 21 and 7 overall 4 and 1 in his last 5 coming off a win over Michael Chiesa Bilal Muhammad 20 and 3 overall 4 0 oh, and 1 in his last 5 Coming off the dominant win over Wonder Boy. These guys fought back in 2016. Vicente Luque won by knockout in under a minute and a half. A lot has happened since then. Bilal has beaten 10 guys in the UFC, including Tim Means, Wonder Boy Thompson, and Damian Maya. Luque has also strung together 10 wins since then, including against Michael Chiesa and Tyron Woodley. And uh, people hated my pick in this fight, but let me get to it. I've got Vicente oh Luque's print. What? No, I haven't watched any of your stuff, and I swear to God, if you pick Bilal. Okay, well, you're just going to have to listen and wait. Vicente Luque's pretty good everywhere. He has power in his hands, solid wrestling defense, and fantastic submissions if it gets to the ground. At the end of the day, he is a striker, though, and he's looking to bang it out on his feet. His 64% takedown defense might seem low, but he has only been taken down four times since 2017, and he won all of those fights by stoppage. Bilal Muhammad is coming off a fantastic win over Wonderboy Thompson, where he had seven takedowns. He spent the majority of his career as a nonstop wrestler, but he has developed striking with what seems to be pretty good power, and he's got solid enough fight IQ to know when he should wrestle and when he should strike. I mentioned he wrestled Wonder Boy, but he knew that he needed to strike with Damian Maya and Diego Lima, and he ended up outstriking both of them two to one. These odds have Vicente Luque as almost a two to one favorite on certain books. And I understand where they're coming from because he's a finisher, he's got power in his hands, and he's got nasty submissions. But I'm picking Bilal Muhammad here, Jakey boy. I'm going with Bilal. If you watch Luque versus Chiesa, Chiesa took him down pretty easily, took his back, and he was going to submit Luque if he didn't just get too aggressive and lose the position. Like, Michael Chiesa made Vicente Luque look like a bum in the first, you know, the beginning of that fight, and it wasn't until he screwed up. Vicente didn't make something happen. Michael Chiesa screwed up. And then Vicente Luque, to his credit, capitalized from that and won from there. So I think Luque will be dangerous on his feet. But I like Bilal to nonstop wrestler. He will have the proper composure when it hits the ground. And instead of making mistakes, he's just going to take his time, not chase a finish, and just dominate the minutes. Takedown after takedown. I love Bilal Muhammad here. I think he gets it done. And you're shaking your head like I'm stupid. Go watch the first couple of minutes of the Michael Chiesa fight. Michael Chiesa made Vicente Luque look like an absolute bum. And then Michael Chiesa messed up. He messed up. Vicente Luque didn't make it happen. Do you hear Michael yourself Chiesa like trying up. to, you're repeating yourself because you're trying to convince yourself of your oh, own Oh, I'm pick. convinced. I'm convinced. You literally just repeated yourself to try and convince yourself. Yeah, because of your pick. Michael Chiesa, your excuse me, ass head. excuse me, don't be rude. The comments are over. We have to delete twenty comments a week about how rude you are to me. Uh, Michael Chiesa is like one of the best grapplers in this division. Doesn't he have like one of the most, like the highest submission rate in this division? He's a much better all around MMA grappler than below Muhammad. Below Muhammad can can wrestle. 
when he wrestles Stephen Thompson. Let, let me the, before I get into it, the best thing to ever happen to Below Muhammad was getting poked in the eye by Leon Edwards because he was going to get destroyed in that fight. He was already getting beat up in the first round. Then the eye poke happened. He was on his way to getting destroyed and embarrassed by Leon Edwards in that fight. And then he was going to go in a different direction in his career. Instead, he got eye poked. They got the no contest. Then they put him against Damian Maya. He outstruck Damian Maya. A lot of people outstrike Damian Maya. Then they put him against Stephen Thompson. He out wrestles Stephen Thompson. That happens against the karate guy that doesn't know how to wrestle. So those two wins, why they look great, don't tell me a lot about Below Muhammad. I, uh, Below Muhammad's on this nice little streak. He is a good wrestler. He is a good striker. But I don't see anywhere where he is better than Vicente Luque in this matchup. Not in the striking, not in the wrestling, not in the grappling. Not in the wrestling. This is a, not a excuse better wrestler me. than Vicente excuse Luque. Excuse me. That's what I thought. Vicente I Luque thought. is is better everywhere. He's probably going to finish this fight. If Bilal Muhammad thinks his path is out wrestling Vicente Luque, he is in a world of hurt. He's going to get submitted. I don't see anywhere where Bilal Muhammad wins this fight. I don't think he's that good. Maybe he surprised me. Congratulations on outstriking Damian Maya. Congratulations on out wrestling Stephen Thompson. You just ran into some issues with Vicente Luque. He's going to dominate this fight. It's so people, the Vicente Luque people. First of all, he's a very good fighter. I'm not trying to say he isn't. I'm saying styles make fights. We've seen him taken down. No problem. We've seen him give up positions. No problem. And Bilal Muhammad will do exactly that. And somebody was arguing with me in the comments. And then I stopped arguing because once you start calling me names... It's my channel. I don't need to waste my time talking to you. And he was arguing with me, talking about, oh, Bilal Muhammad beat Wonder Boy. What a joke. And uh, I was like, so what's Vicente Luque's big win recently? Oh, Nico Price. Nico Price is Vicente Luque's big win. He was uh, losing He submitted that Tyron fight. Woodley. So. Oh, the Tyron Woodley who hasn't won a single fight in 10 uh, years. He uh, won a split decision versus Mike Perry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mike Berry, who's not leading. Listen, uh, listen, I think Blow Muhammad just absolutely <laughs> just dominates this fight. His, his wrestling is way too good. His striking is much slicker than Vicente yeah. Luque. He's got the power advantage. Exactly. I see Blow Muhammad taking this dude down and just dominating this fight. I'm Blow Muhammad all the way. Exactly. And and look, even Marshall Maya here saying oh, it's not just the name. What what did Luque do to those people? What did he do? He is getting smoked and then pulled off a win. Nico Price was dominating Vicente Luque, dominating him. And then he lost. Nico Price is, is nothing in the division other than incredibly fun. He was getting dominated that by, by Michael Chiesa, was able to pull it off. So I am not saying Vicente Luque is not a good fight. He's a very good fighter, and this guy is stupid dangerous. I'm just saying styles make fights. I think Bilal Muhammad is smart enough to non-stop no, wrestle, Luque keep his head down, and make it happen. Andre Playboy. Literally, his last name is Playboy. What an Look incredible just life digging, he must live. Just digging for a win that holds up. <laughs> that guy finished his... That Vicente Luque started and finishes this guy's career. 0-1 lifetime. So, he right, fought so Vicente people, Luque and said, I don't want to be a fighter anymore. That's how good Vicente Luque is. He's ending careers from the jump. His very first pro fight, he ended a man's career. All right. So to be clear, your pick is Vicente Luque. Some people 100%. did not get this did yeah, not get 100%. the sarcasm when you flipped. Well is not very good. Okay. Well, we completely disagree and we should bet. Are we gonna throw a hundred bucks on this one? I get a hundred, you get fifty. I have been in contact with some bankruptcy bankruptcy lawyers from the weekend. <laughs> um, I need to see what they say about my finances, but yeah, I would love to. I would love to bet a pending bet based on how much cash I have available to me by Saturday. So. Okay. All right. Well, I'm all over Bilal Muhammad. You're on Vicente Luque. Yeah, let's do hundred. Like let's do hundred. Okay, I get but two to one for me. Deal. Right. You get hundred. Um, I get fifty. Deal. Um, Vicente yeah, Luque are a little bit wider than hey, we had, had deal was made. Vicente I, said, Luque, I didn't say deal. I just I just put it out there, and then you said okay. deal. I didn't. <laughs> Seventy five well, and fifty. Wait, you made the offer. I accepted the offer. Then it's done. <laughs> anyway, Vicente Luque, you spend that eighty five hundred dollars on DraftKings. Oh hell yeah! Okay, I am not. I'm going seventy seven hundred. And what do you think of Monkey Knife Fight? One hundred eighteen strikes to ninety one strikes. Luke is just going to flatline this dude. 
inside of 34 seconds? Um, it's a five round fight, so it, it may be more and more, but uh, Vicente will be the one struggling to get to 118 because I just see a lot of grappling from Bilal Muhammad. But if you feel strongly about that monkey knife fight line, go to we picks.com slash MKF. They will instantly match your deposit up to $100. And if you want 50 free dollars, 50 bucks for free, go to we picks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners, make a deposit, let us know after you do, and we will send you $50 as a thank you.